Hey guys, good morning. It's Steph um, and I'm talking today about running injuries, common running injuries. Um, I am a physical therapist who specializes in working with runners. I have for many years and, um, and I'm also an online run coach. And so my passion is helping especially beginner runners um, go from beginner to beyond without getting hurt. I want to help as many runners as I can uh, prevent running injuries so that you do not have to see someone like me um, in a physical therapy clinic uh, because uh, most running injuries are preventable. Um, next up, I T band syndrome. So this kind of I kind of alluded to this, but that is the band that runs from the top of the hip down past the knee, um, and some causes of I T band syndrome. Um, track running. So if you're running in a circle the same direction all the time, it's it causes an imbalance, especially if it's a small track, like an indoor track, um, where the turns are tighter. Um, if you're doing a lot of downhill running, if you're overstriding, so if you're overstriding, you are striking in front of your body quite a bit, and that can um, cause some issues with the IT band. Um, if you have tightnesses and uh, lack of mobility around the hips, that can start to cause some issues with the IT band. And then again, weakness in the hip abductors and external rotators um, where you're moving out to the side and um, back and out. And, and again, leg length differences. So um, same as with the hip bursitis, um, you know, it's, it's kind of a lot of the same um, causes, potential causes. Uh, and then it just depends where where something breaks down on a person. Um, everybody's a little different. So um, so that second bullet kind of explains when there's an issue, especially up top um, in the in the hips and through the pelvis, the hip will kind of go in and then the knee will go in and that causes the IT band on the outside of the leg to compress and it can compress in different areas. So sometimes it's more up by the hip, sometimes it's down at the knee, it just depends. Um, and then again, that um, that band can get stuck and, and, and then that can cause even more problems up and down the leg. So, <clears throat> excuse me. So we want to strengthen the abductors, external rotators, strengthen those hip muscles um, and everything around the pelvis we want to uh, mobilize all that tissue all around. So again, we're foam rolling, we're using a ball, we're using a, um, a stick, a um, massage gun, something like that to get all of those structures moving. And this is an area where you're foam rolling, especially along the entire IT band, it does not feel good. I have done it many, many times because I have issues with this, um, kind of like everything else in my body. Um, and it, um, it, sucks. <laughs> it is not fun. Um, but typically when it feels worse, that's when it needs to be done. So uh, if you kind of stay on top of it, then it's not quite so bad um, as it stays more loosened up. So um, a little side note at the bottom, studies have shown that strengthening the hips has a positive impact at the knee and the ankle joints um, because of improved mechanics. So just thought I'd throw that Again, in there. If questions, go ahead and throw them below. I'm happy to help in any way that I can. You'll want to stay tuned for runner's knee. So thanks so much for watching. Thank Have a great day. Happy running.